uh, rapid transit system, uh, health issues. If I can get a quick comment from each one of you on uh, some of those things that we've had in this month, Mr. Chidio. The time of uh, making promises is uh, long gone. The, when Jiku in Kenya expects that the Jubilee administration will hit the ground running, like for instance when Manoi speaks speak to say there's going to be breaking ground for affordable housing, what we should be seeing is the actual groundbreaking, not him giving uh, promissory notes. Because for the last uh, 50 years since we attained independence, we've been told about uh, Kenya being a first world, all manner of promises have been made, it should be able to hit the ground running. But something again which is curious is making announcements about uh, Nairobi healthcare which is supposed to be a function of uh, Governor Sonko. Maybe it's Governor Sonko is supposed to discuss uh, healthcare. And when uh, State House starts discussing healthcare in Nairobi, then two things come to mind. That either the Sonko administration in Nairobi has failed with a lot of success that are unable to deliver, mm -hmm. and that's why the president needs to come in, or Sonko is not in the loop, he has, not, he has no idea of what is happening. All right. So, so really, in my view, all our leaders, all the political leaders, they should stop making uh, promises today and uh, deliver. Because you know the Jubilee Manifesto is very clear. For anybody who's got access to internet, they know what uh, the Manifesto talks about. Right. They should be able to hit uh, the ground running. Mark. And maybe on a related note is mm -hmm. maybe addressing still the political elite in Kenya, they should now focus on delivering on their promises. Because right now, you've got a number of uh, Kenyans who have declared their interest in becoming presidents, in be or rather in becoming president of Kenya. Others, they want to become governors. And we are spending precious time discussing 2022 when we are not even sure whether we are going to attain food security, whether we are going to attain housing security. And one wonders whether these politicians actually live and work here in Kenya to understand that Wanjiku at this stage is not interested in uh, 2022. Right. Wanjiku today wants to be sure that if they've got a kidney issue, they go to Mbagathi or they go to their local dispensary, it's going to and be sorted get, out. They get services now. Yeah, now, not Mark. about 2022. I think this must and I were watching two totally different press conferences because I did not hear a single promise from Mano SP. So that sounded like an update. It was a news item. He was basically as good as reading tomorrow's newspaper. What he was saying is bus rapid transport. We've seen the lens being demarcated. He said which roads there are, and he said in which time period certain things need to have stopped. There was not a single promise beyond. He's not even talked about anything that it is beyond six months from this date in being done. And by the way, this must, it is not important that we are always criticizing. One of the things that we've prayed for in this country for years is for the spokesman of State House to come out and say the kind of things that he has said. And these are not promises to me. I've seen the red lines on Thicker Road. I've seen the hospitals being upgraded. The breaking ground is happening. We've seen the president had gone to Cuba. The agreements are already there. The doctors who are going to help pilot these projects are already there. Right. We've talked about four zones uh, pioneering NHIF. Uh, the other day we launched NHIF cover for all secondary <laughs> school children. These are things that are happening. So maybe some of the questions would be, uh, is this the right way to do a BRT? Maybe discussion for another day. Yes. All right. Mm. Hasbun? Yeah, well, I think uh, I want to agree with, with, uh, with, with Mark that uh, it is refreshing to run away from the politics of 2022 mm -hmm. and focus on what the government is doing now. And I think that is what Manoa is doing, is giving us an update. And it is important that we get these updates on what the government is doing, so that moving forward, our politics is engaged on how uh, are they delivering on this mandate? How good can we append ourselves? So you hear of what the central government is doing, and part of it is the mandate of the county government. The next thing you may want to ask, how do you engage with your county government so that you understand mm -hmm. how they append on President Uhuru's four-point agenda on health, for instance. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that they're usurping Sonko's mandate. I would just say that we need to hear from Sonko how is he appending himself and, and, and aligning himself to this comprehensive and universal health care that President Uhuru Kenyatta is providing. I think these updates are very critical at this point. They will inform the kind of politics that we'll have, because Kenyans will always politic. And if we politic along the things that the government is doing with, with, with uh, you know, an informed mind, we can be a lot more constructive. And I All think right. that is what can help this country. All right. Kipchumba. 
this kind of briefings gives us a, a breath into what is happening in terms of the, the big four, or the agenda four for President Kenyatta. It allows the Mwananchi to hear and to know how far are we. And that's why when we hear Mano Isipisu talking about issues like Bagadi, Mama Lucy, and all that, that works into, di into directly helping in the congesting Kenyatta National Hospital, and this helps by making it a referral hospital purely, whereby we will not find ourselves having people who are suffering from medics and all manner of stomach aches lining and queuing in Kenyatta, Kenyatta Hospital. Yes. Instead, we have an effective Mama Lucy Hospital, whereby you can go there when you have a stomach ache and you have Mbagadi, where you can go by th there to solve some small issues or minor issues. I think we need to encourage this, and we need to percolate it down to our governors, whereby we have a day where we hear the governors, the spokesman of the county government right. telling the resident this is what we are doing. In terms of the trip to Cuba, it's the right thing to do. It's a follow-up so that it, it doesn't just be a, a hit and we are, we are nowhere there. Mm -hmm. But what we need to stress is that we need to see few governors accompanying the CS so that the same can be reflected in our counties. The same way the president did with a few governors. We need to see a few or a clique of county technocrats in terms of health care accompanying the CS so right. that it can help us in growing.